Welcome to one of the past HSC exam question videos on the Regulating Substances chapter. In this video I'll cover this question which comes from the Regulating Substances chapter. What I'll do in a second I'll read the actual question. And once I've read the question you get about five seconds to pause the video. And once you've paused the video attempt the question. When you're ready press play and I'll go over the actual answer itself. So I read the question. It says draw a diagram of a mammalian kidney. On your diagram label three regions involved in the excretion of waste product and indicate the main process that occurs in each of the three regions. So I'll give you a quick hint. All you really have to do is draw the kidney, again label the three areas and then name their processes. You don't have to write much, just draw, label and then quickly identify a name. So I'll give you five seconds to pause the video and then attempt the question. Welcome back. So yeah, for this one, you should know what the kidney looks like. So kidney looks like. You need to know the three main important parts. The three parts that you had to actually label were the collecting ducts, the collecting ducts, the medulla, medulla and the cortex. And then you have named the, the processes as well. Which in this case, the three processes were filtration, reabsorption, and excretion or removal of urine. I'll go over where these all occur as well. So this is roughly what you should have drawn. This is the kidney. Then you should have labeled the three different parts. So the collecting ducts, the first part, was the one in green and yellow, sorry, yellow collecting duct. Then collecting duct. The other part, the medulla, was the part in red, uh, not in red, the part in white, medulla. And the other important one was the cortex, which was obviously the last bit, which is the one in grey. And then you still needed to actually put those three processes in the correct order, which one does what. And if we remember the collecting ducts, that's where we have excretion of urine. So the removal of urine happens, excretion or probably a better word would be the removal of urine happens in the collecting ducts. The collecting ducts, they collect all the urine from the medulla and then they move it to the bladder where it's then ultimately removed as well. So that collecting duct is the removal of urine, collection and removal of urine. The medulla, that is where a lot of our reabsorption occurs because that was actually where the the tubules and the loop of Henle was, was within this. So the head part, so the glomerulus was in the cortex, but the actual nephron, the rest of the nephron, so the, the, I'll draw them. So this is the head is here, so this is the glomerulus, and then you have the tubules which go down, loop of Henle, and that is the collecting duct, which goes, actually, actually, actually my bad, uh, I just realized this was not the collecting duct, this was the renal pelvis. I had a brain freeze for whatever reason because the collecting duct is actually the one right here. This, these were the collecting ducts. And you didn't have to label the collecting ducts. You had to actually label the renal pelvis. So I wrote collecting ducts, but the correct one is actually the renal pelvis. Um, so f what happens is the renal pelvis is where all that urine which travels from the collecting duct into the renal pelvis and then removed afterwards. The medulla is your loop of Henle, which is this part here, and your proximal and distal tubule. And remember, reabsorption happens at the tubules and at the loop of Henle. And we have our cortex left, and the cortex was where our Bowman's capsule. So this was the Bowman's capsule, it was in our cortex. And remember what happens at a Bowman's capsule? We have 
reabsorption, uh, not reabsorption, but filtration. Filtration happens at our Bowman's capsule. Filtration. So if you would have correct the, roughly correctly um, drawn that diagram showing the three different parts, you'd have gotten marks for correctly showing where the medulla is, correctly showing where the cortex is, correctly showing where the, not the collecting up, but the renal pelvis is. And you would have also got marks for correcting, correctly identifying the processes. For the cortex, we have filtration because that's where the Bowman's capsule is. For the medulla, we have reabsorption because that's where the loop of Henle and the proximal and distal tubules are. And for the collecting ducts, and more specifically the renal pelvis, we have the removal of urine because that's where all it collects and is removed. So if you had those correct, that would have been six marks in total. So one mark for identifying each of the areas, one mark for correctly identifying the processes as well. So hopefully that was useful. And where does this come from? Sorry, before I leave, this one comes from this dot point. So we have our first time investigation, which was the dissection of the mammalian kidney. The reason why we dissect is to look at the structure of a mammalian kidney. And also says to identify the regions of involved in the excretion of waste products. And these were the three regions, the renal pelvis, the medulla, and the cortex. So I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.